What's up party people? Android Stud here and today I have the Galaxy S10 Plus and I wanted to show you how to install the Google camera port onto your Galaxy S10 Plus. As we all know, the Pixel 3 XL has some of the best cameras in the smartphone game. But the Galaxy S10 Plus has some really good cameras too. It has that triple camera setup on the back with the ultra wide, the standard and also telephoto lens. And then you get the wide angle selfie here on the front with the dual camera and also your regular selfie. But you can install now the Google camera port that comes with portrait mode on the rear and from facing camera. And also that awesome feature called night sight that you can use on your Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, I did some camera comparisons between the two, the Google camera port on the Galaxy S10 Plus and also the Galaxy S10 Plus camera. And you're gonna see in this video how they both compare. And you guys let me know what you guys think. I personally think that the night sight feature on the Google camera port on the Galaxy S10 Plus did a lot better job with the photos at night, but that's just my opinion. As you can see here, I took some uh, shots at night on the Galaxy S10 Plus with the Google camera port and then with the Galaxy S10 camera. And I thought that the results were more favorable on the Google camera port than they were on the Galaxy S10 Plus. But I'm gonna show you some comparisons with the night sight and the bright night feature on the Galaxy S10 Plus and also the ultra wide comparison on both. You can use the ultra wide on the Google camera port, which is kind of cool. Also portrait comparisons between the two on the Google camera port versus the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus camera. So there'll be a lot that I'm gonna show you. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to install this so that you could have it running and gunning on your Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, make sure you follow directions because there's a couple files that you have to install, but I will do that at the end of the video. But for now, let's check out the camera comparisons between the two. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with the Galaxy S10 Plus cameras, but it's kind of cool that you can add another camera to this great device and make it even better. So check it out.
All right, now that you saw the pictures, I don't know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below what you guys think of the pictures. But I personally, like I said, thought the night sight was better than bright night on the Galaxy S10 Plus cameras. Now, to install this is real easy. Go to the link that I have down in the description on XDA. Take better pictures on your Galaxy S10 with a Google camera port. And look, this does not mean there's anything wrong with the cameras in the Galaxy S10. They're phenomenal. But if you can add a feature to your phone for free, and it makes it a little better or maybe it gives you different shots. Hey, why not do it? What's the harm? It's the freedom of Android, so make it happen. So you go down to the, the, the description down here and go down to the instructions. Now, you're gonna download two files, the Google Camera APK and also the config files on here. Big shout out to CStart27, Arnova BG2 for these awesome files. Now. You're gonna go ahead and click on the Google Camera APK. It's gonna take you to another link. Now, this is on use, it's a third party installation, so you, you're responsible if anything happens to your phone. I am not. So you go ahead and click here to install. It's gonna take you to another link that you're gonna go ahead and choose where you wanna download it from. It's gonna give you different regions like Canada, the Netherlands, California, Texas. As you see there, it's searching for the links for you to download the file. So then you're gonna go down to the link. I'm gonna do Texas, because that's the closest one towards me. Do you want to download? You hit download. It's gonna start downloading onto your phone, and I'm gonna show you where you grab that in a minute. Now you're gonna go back out, and you have to download another file, the config file. So you go ahead and click on the config files. It's gonna take you to another link. Download gcam.zip. Go ahead and click on download. Very simple and easy. It's gonna search for mirrors again, Canada, Netherlands. I'm gonna do Texas again. So go, I'll go ahead and, and choose Texas. Do you want to download Gcam Zip? Yes, download that. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down on your notifications and you're gonna see both files. You're gonna see the camera, which is the longer file, the BSG APK, and then the Gcam 3 Zip. Now, it says three because I've downloaded this a few times just so I know how to do it on my phone. So you click on the big file here which is the camera. And then it's gonna ask you, do you want to install the same application? Go ahead and hit install. It's gonna start installing, no issues there. Once it, once it installs, then we're gonna, down, we're gonna install the config files. I'm gonna show you what to do with the config, config files. So you go ahead and hit done on that. Then you're gonna pull down again, and you're gonna see that the Gcam zip files are there. And what you want to do is you want to find you want to get your file manager. It's called My Files, so just search files and you're going to hit that right there. It says My Files. Sorry about that. Blurry vision will kill you. <laughs> and you see there Gcam zip.3. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. Now it's going to ask you it's extract. So you hit extract, right? And then that's it. It extracts right to the download folder. So then you go out of your files and you're gonna go into your download, go to your Gcam 3, and you're gonna highlight that, okay? You're gonna highlight that. And then you're gonna move it, so you see that move button there? You're gonna move that to your internal storage. So go back out to it, it says totally internal storage, and you're gonna move it there. And once you move it there, you're good to go. Now, what you wanna do next, I know this is a little confusing, but just hang in there. There's also written instructions down in the description if I'm doing a terrible job, <laughs> which it seems like. So now you're gonna open up your Google camera, just search camera in your app drawer. You're gonna allow all these permissions like this. Now once it does that, now if you want portrait mode and night sight, you gotta do the next step. Now it's very simple. You're gonna, you're gonna double tap in this black area right here next to the shutter button. And it's gonna give you this prompt. Choose config, S10, CS, MAR2, XML. You're gonna hit restore right there. If you can see that. Hit restore and it's gonna restore. Now when you go to portrait mode, it's gonna give you portrait on the rear facing camera. Also if you want night sight, it'll give you night sight. I haven't tried the video camera, so I'll have to try that later. There you have night sight, so you're good to go. Now, if you want to have the ultra wide on your phone, you're going to have to go turn on your front facing camera, like so, and then go back. And then you're going to get the ultra wide camera. Now, if you want to go back to the regular standard uh, rear camera, you're going to go to your, your front facing camera, 
and then go back to your rear, fa rear facing camera. It's kind of weird how you got to do it, but that's just the way they do it on here. Now, if you go to, if you go to your front facing camera, you have portrait, so you can go ahead and take pictures there. Boom, I just took a shot, not a big deal. There I am doing my thing. So that's it, man. That's how you install the Google camera app on the Samsung Galaxy S10. Now it does give you some added features onto your phone uh, on your Galaxy S10 that a lot of people don't have or can't do. As we all know, the, the Google camera port does improve the camera on a lot of phones. But what I will say on the Galaxy S10 is they have excellent cameras. This is just like having an added feature. Doesn't replace the camera. It doesn't say that this camera is better than the S10 camera. It just gives you something different and new. That's gonna do it, man. You got any questions, leave them down below. Be part of the party people. Join the party people, like I said, and subscribe to the channel. You can leave a comment, like I said, down below, and I will get back at you. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Android Stud. I'll be posting pictures of the Google camera port on my accounts if you wanna check those out. I already have some if you wanna look at those later on. But that's gonna do it, man. That's how you install the Google camera port on the Galaxy S10 Plus. I'm hoping this, helped, this video has helped you out, and enjoy your Galaxy S10. I'm out of here. Peace.